He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. It's 1017 here at the Venetian Expo, CES 2024. I am Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming at you live and 100% in living color. And now we are here with Securum. Is that how we're pronouncing it? Securum, yeah. Securum, and we're here with Steve Davidson, the Director of Marketing. Steve, Thank welcome. You. How are you today? Thank you. Doing great. Good. Doing I great. Am Don Bain, the gadget professor, and uh, Thank you, Don. Thank you so much for coming on and uh, tell us all about the stuff that you got here. It looks pretty cool. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna it is. Yeah. I'm gonna put this. Let me see it first. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna. Which we talking about one at a time. Let's cover the switch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The switch I am putting right here on our X marks the spot point so our cameras can you got see it. it. Here we go. You got a good picture of that. Okay, Steve, awesome. it's all yours. Thank you. Yeah, so we're really excited. We're uh, we're announcing uh, three switches okay. uh, as a as a suite of uh, smart switch products. Okay. Um, one of the cool things that uh, we're really proud of is uh, the the switch is a security switch, right? It's right. focused not just on home automation. Uh, it's not focused on you know on and off specifically. It's right. focused on security. Yeah. So. Okay. So what does the switch do? Yeah. So if you look on the front of them, you can see there's a little black window on the bottom there. Yeah, that would be down here. Yeah. So that's kind of the marquee kind of standout feature there. And and, and what's in there is a laser sensor. Okay. Uh, it shoots across the room. Yep. You cannot see it, but it is there. I assure okay. you. And uh, the focus there is is to be able to detect motion, and uh, it'll do it in in a dark setting or a bright now, setting. Now, is it is it doing a stream, a a, mm -hmm. a like an angle, uh, you know, like an inch, two inch, three inches, whatever. It is? Yeah, it's actually really thin. It's not more okay. than a few. I think it's three no millimeters okay. at most. Yeah, okay. um, it shoots up to 15 feet, right? And you can actually shorten it okay. based on yaw or pit. You can't control it that way. It just goes straight across. Right. Um, but the the focus there is, is you, you want to be able to trigger either an alarm or trigger the lights to turn on. And what we what we thought was really unique about the place that the switch exists in the homes or in the office, right? Is uh, it's at that height where it's Dogs aren't going to set it off. Kids aren't necessarily going to, little kids aren't going to walk by it every five seconds and set it off. Um, if somebody's crossing that beam, it's with intention, right? And uh, you'll be able to detect motion or, or the alarms can be triggered, especially at nighttime, you know, and if it's out your front door, no one's expecting it. You know, that's the really cool thing that, that is unique about this. So I, I, I'm assuming I would need more than one switch. You, well, not necessarily, but we recommend uh, grouping them. We have three switches. We've got a regular switch that does not have the the IR the, the sensor in it, the laser sensor, and then we've got uh, so it's our standard Wi-Fi on and off, and it groups with these, right? And then we've got a dimmer and a programmable version of the the security switches. Okay, so in the typical house, uh, I have a front door and I have a back door. If I was yep. a robber or an intruder. Uh, there's two ways I would want to get into my house. Mm. One would definitely be the back door. Yep. And the other one would be through probably the patio door. Could be. Okay. So, Because that's the easiest way, that front door. You right. You ain't going to get through that too easy. So J yeah. how, how is this going to work for me in that configuration? Would I have to have one in the uh, where the patio doors are it, and one where the back door is? Yeah. And then potentially one in the front door. Is that making sense to you or? it does no for sure like i like at my house i've got and my on my back door the sliding door we've got a, a dimmer like on, on the wall and a, yes. and a couple of on and off switches but there's no beam coming out of those switches it's just there's one in the three pack there's only one switch that has the beam well no so they're, they're sold singly so what we recommend okay, is okay. build it as you need it okay. ad hoc right we'll have uh we'll have packages on amazon later on this year that'll have one of each or three of each or something uh, it, I, I just think it's it's really about what you need in your home. Some of them may need them upstairs. Like I may want, uh, I have a one-year-old, you know, or if I have my kids walking around, uh, you know, my, my younger kids, and I want to know if there's motion in their room at night, but I don't want cameras in their room. You know, a lot of people are sensitive with that, well, but I don't blame I, them. I, I don't blame you either. Um, you know, uh, so we, there, there's there's different applications. So I would say it really depends on, on your home and on, on your or on your apartment. Okay, so the first thing it does, it's going to put out a beam. If you cross that beam, boom. It's, Bingo. Okay. Yep. What happens? Is that controlled by an app? It is. We have okay. the Secure M Guard app, 
Okay. And you can you can group all your switches in there in one place. Uh, there, I, we don't have enough time to go through it. There are so many different scenes, automations, triggers Will it you can call set. Call the police if I wanted to, or call my brother if I wanted to. It yes, it can it can be set right now to do a phone call. Okay. So you can technically, you, you could technically do that to, to, to do uh, emergency services. Um, generally, what we recommend is it's up to you. Like right now, I have mine. It'll if I do not respond to the notification, right. it can call you call your phone. Okay. Yeah. So there's different ways to do it. Okay. Is it a subscription based service? Uh, we don't have anything to announce on that right now, uh, but we're talking about some different options. That means yes. <laughs> so it's not ready. Right. Been at this so long. Yeah, well. I, 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 I know what's happening. Uh, what else does the switch do other than? Yeah. So um, uh, that one's the programmable. So the, the, the up and down buttons can be programmed to, you know, if you have it grouped with another switch upstairs, you can have them both turn on and off. Right. Another fun thing about these is um, they have their own broadcasting. Right. So if your Internet, right, you have your router still active, but your Internet has no data piping in, these things are still on and working and doing their automations and doing their scenes. So they're not dependent on actual web, uh, the actual uh, data from your from your uh, modem. So this doesn't have to be on the Internet. Correct. How does it do that? They talk to each other within the house. How does it send a. Uh how does it talk to the app if it's not on Wi-Fi? Well, it, 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 there's certain things that it won't do, right? But uh, as far as the, uh, the the automations and scenes, okay, so manually you can do it. Yeah. So it's on, it's basically non-binary. It's on off when it's not on the internet. Correct. Correct. Right. So yes. You didn't think I knew that, did you? I I no, I I believe. <laughs> Okay, you've been so, at this a while, so. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> do they make three-way switches, two-way switches? Yeah. Uh, so you've got a three-way. We right. have a single, and then we have a dimmer. Are these available now? They are on okay. Amazon and our, on our website okay, on Secure Amazon. What's the price point on this? So you have uh, twenty-four ninety-five that's for the very reasonable. Well, that's for the straight regular switch, right? But oh, just the, for the on and off switch, right? No, I want, I want, I want to know how much this one is. That one's going to be forty-nine ninety-five. Okay, that's still not bad. Yeah, one-time shot, you're done. Yeah, fifty-nine then, for the dimmer, I think. Yeah. And then when you move, you unscrew it and you take it with you. Easy peasy. Yeah, right. they're easy to install. We have on the back. They're you yeah, know they're not complicated. You, yeah. It's a it's a it just pinches the wire. Done deal. Yeah, it, if you can install a switch, you can. Inst these are very simple. I mean, we always say be careful because you got to turn the breaker off and all yeah, that. But yeah, we got a good installation video there for you on Amazon. Yeah, so. it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we have a dimmer switch. Got a dimmer. We have what are we going to call this? The alarm switch. So it's the yeah, it's the it's the Wi-Fi security. Uh, that one's the Wi-Fi security switch, the Wi-Fi security dimmer, and then the Wi-Fi uh, uh, Wi-Fi smart switch. Okay. Let's talk about this next device. Yeah, this is our EOS lock. So this, what's interesting is, uh, number one, this is kind of our marquee product. Put yeah, this over here. that we've had out for some time. Um, so this is biometric, right? It's a biometric uh, door lock. So, yeah, you've got uh, fingerprint. Um, got a reader on there. It's got uh, really high quality aluminum uh, metal housing, and it does. You know, you have your normal passcode. You can do, you know. A few basic ways to get in the house, and uh, this is this one's a Wi-Fi model, but we also have a standalone model that does not connect to Wi-Fi. Doesn't need any, you know, like data. Right, it's mechanical, open, close. Yeah, you, it'll do your fingerprint. It'll do your passcode. Okay. Uh, again, people, there's some people that just do not want their door connected to the internet, right? Now, so this obviously will connect up to an app. That one does to the guard app. Do yeah. I have the ability to remotely open and close my door? Absolutely. That is the ha I have one of these. It's yeah. the handiest thing in the world. It is. I cannot tell you how many times I've used that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and and if you have uh, a guest, but you're not home and they need to get in your house, Absolutely. one time code. Yeah, expiration. There's a lot of features that it can do. Uh, it's got uh, your history. You can see when the door was sure. open and closed. If it's left open, it'll alert you. There's, you know, there's a lot of things that are really helpful. Okay, there's a lot of competitors out there with the yeah. with a similar product. What makes yours so special? You know, um, I had to ask. I'm sorry. Of course, I had no. To ask. I, you got it. Yeah. No, th there are, and they're all doing a great job, in my opinion. There's all, all companies have different things that are that no, they're good I at. I highly recommend these. They're really good. Yeah. I think what sets us apart is, you know, we've been in the the lock industry, say in the safe locks industry is where we started for over 30 years. Ah, that's big. So it's gonna be hard for somebody to that's, that's mess with our technology and 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 really. Uh, you know, we have a high standard of quality with our deadbolt, with our materials. 
you know, and so I think that's where we really pride ourselves. That first point of protection is really important at that front door. We think doorbells and videos important as well, but those are more deterrents. This is going to stop people from opening. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what's the price point on this? So those are MSRP at two sixty nine, okay. uh, but they're on sale. You know, off the. So. Do they do they come in colors? Uh, silver and black, they do. Okay, yeah. uh, folks, I, I'm, I'm I haven't used this obviously, but they're pretty high quality from what I can see. They're very nicely done. The letters are nice. Uh, it's solid. Uh, that's your, that's as solid as you're going to get. Uh, they work. Some of them are you got to fight with to yeah. turn. Uh, believe me, I know. Uh, yeah. This one seems on the upper. The action's end. good on it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's on the upper end of the quality scale. In my quick observation, and this looks like it's uh, a really nice uh, smart lock. And I really think uh, you know, a quick observation uh, that these products are they're very cool and. Uh, Plus, you can un, you can uh, disarm your 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 security beams with your thumbprint on that lock. That's awesome. So if they're grouped together, yeah, we got well, it all going. This thing's really uh, well thought out. You know, we're we're out of time now, but what I'd like to do yeah. is bring you back on the Gadget Professor show at some point when we're over with CES. That would be and, great. Uh, we'd, we'd love to spend a full forty five minutes on all your products. Thank you, thank right. you. We're so we're, we're so that. happy to be here. Thank you so well, much. I'm happy you're here. Uh, these things look great. So they're available already on yeah. Amazon. Yes, sir, and on our website, securemsys.com. Okay. Go check it out. There you go. Thank you so much. And this is heavy, too. That's awesome stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.